Hey guys, it's Rick from Tornator, and in this video I'm going to be talking to you about the latest version, 1214, some additional services that I think you might benefit from, and a couple of things that we changed in this version. So, first of all, the main thing we've updated in this version is the addition of two new torrent websites. We now have torrentsnet.net, torrent matrix, and we bought back Kickass Torrents and Silver Torrents. So, that brings it to a total of 13 torrent websites, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six. Fourteen, fourteen torrent websites in total. <laughs> My maths isn't the best, so that's that. Next, we have some backend tweaks that should speed up the processes for now, and also preparation in preparation for a larger release soon that will include a, that will include a new account creator and some other features. So, in regards to the account creator, a lot of you have said that the additional Yahoo account creator that's included is about outdated, is a little bit outdated, and we're totally aware of this. So what we're going to be doing now is integrating the account creator from our buddy program, Answer Swipe, into Tornado, which is much faster, much quicker, way more automated, and way more lightweight. So that will be done in the next day or two. Additionally, I want to show you two services that I think you will benefit from, because a lot of people have an idea what seed boxes are and VPSs, but don't really know how to use, utilize them or which ones to use. So for this example, if you are looking for a seed box, Seedbox1.com is pretty good. Um, gives you a lot of specs that you can vary through in terms of um, speeds, um, bandwidth, that kind of stuff. And you can use this to seed your torrents on, you know, on a bigger scale. Okay, you can use this. It's pretty good. Gives you a uTorrent um, interface anyway, so it's pretty effective like that. Pretty cool. Next, um, for those of you who use proxies, Squid Prox is pretty good. Um, they are efficient, pretty cheap, all private, which are pretty good. Um, additionally, you can use the Hide My Ass VPN as a as a separate VPN, but you don't really need to use proxies as much when you're uploading torrents because there are so many different websites and so many different variations you can do that it's unlikely that you will get blacklisted. Okay, so that's that. Next, I want to quickly mention a kind of rehash one of the methods. That we just spoke about, spoke about earlier, which is um, using share cache and zip files and RAR files to make some money. Essentially, the way you would do it is to upload a piece of content, whether it's a video or a photo or an article or a book or a software game, whatever it might be, that is in demand that, or that is trending. And for this, I usually use something like Metacritic and Rotten Tomatoes just to see what's trending and what's popular. And I'll go ahead and find a trailer from one of these. Um, from one of these pieces of content, so let's say it's a video or if it's a movie or a photo, whatever it might be, I'd find a um, I'd find a trailer on YouTube, okay, or I'd find the actual thing if I want to be a little bit unethical about it. I'd find the official thing, and then I'd go ahead and re-upload that to the torrent website. So I'd, I'd watermark it with my website URL. I would upload it to the torrent website in a .rar file. I would seal this .rar file with a password, right? And I would place a separate text file which would link to a URL where I could get the password. Users would open the text file, go to the URL. To get to the URL, they'd have to fill out a survey. That survey would get me about a dollar, okay, to get the password. They'd get the password, they'd open the RAR file. Usually it'd be of value. I know it'd be, it'd be a bit annoying if you didn't include anything of value in the torrent file afterwards. So try to you know, use some kind of value. If it's an actual movie, or if it's an actual photo, or an, or an exclusive trailer. Or something actually that's worth value. Okay, that is valuable. And then they go back, they fill out the survey, and then you get a dollar. So that's the initial process. You can also um, use some other services, like apart from ShareCash, you can use Blam Ads. They're pretty good. And they're pretty, um, they, they pay out more, I believe, than ShareCash does at least. This is all a form of your CPA marketing. Um, and it's pretty effective. Like people get lots of money just by doing this kind of stuff. Right? Some people I know are making uh, from one thousand to two thousand dollars a month just using torrents. You're uploading a couple of hundred here and there, and letting them bank over time. Uh, essentially, you will need to re-upload a lot of things here and there because some things will get taken down due to the nature of torrents being moderated most of the time. So you'd have to upload more quantity-based items to make sure that some stick at least. So that's that. Um, I hope this video has been at least somewhat insightful. If I've spoken too quick, which I usually have, 
just send me a message and I'll clarify anything that you need clarified. And the interview that is included with the Tornator, um, some of you guys are asking for part two. We are currently re you know, revising part two because some things have changed in the Torn world. So I'm going to be getting another interview done with a fellow member within the next week or so. Uh, so keep a lookout for that. Lots of exclusive, interesting, um, you know, hypnotic <laughs> information there. That's all for today. Thank you very much and stay tuned for the next version.